Well, hi everybody, I'm back again, wondering what to do next on my bench. So I've been looking at this kit again. I just finished, of course, this uh, Super Roadster kit by Lindbergh. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, there's still a couple of weeks left in February, and the small-scale group build is still going on, so I'm going to complete this Lucky Bucket, uh, the kit that comes in the same box. It's, there's the pieces that come with that kit, and I have a few pieces left over from the Super Roadster. They come with extra parts. But it looks like it's got most uh, everything you need here, the engine and wheels and hubcaps. Uh, there's two sets of wheels. There's, there's uh, four large and two small, so you could have four large the same all the way around, or two large on the back and two smaller on the front, which is I think what I would go for. And then uh, the frame, I guess, would be the frame and the interior tub here on the engine. Well, of course, I'll mold it in orange. I'm going to try and paint it different color. I'll probably try and use some of the uh, decals to go with it, which are uh, orange and yellow. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, and here's a quick update on the progress on this uh, Lucky Bucket build. I've got the engine halves put together and uh, just brush painted with some Ford engine blue. And then I'll do the transmission in uh, stone, uh, in uh, silver or gunmetal. And then the rest of the parts are in chrome. They're uh, here somewhere, drawing with uh, super glue on them. Got the windshield in the frame here. Got the exhaust uh, pipes ready to go. I've got the, a lot of cleanup required on the on the wheels. A lot of um, cleanup required there on the wheels. I meant it. What I we have four large ones. I guess if you wanted to do one on each corner of the car, but I'm going to use the small ones on the front. So what I did is I glued the two um, larger ones back to back. And I think I can attach those on the back, make it a little, not quite a slick, but like a dually, dually wheel. This is a, like a tonneau cover. These are the axles, the seats. I've got the uh, the interior tub in and the, and the nose cone. I'm going with this instead of the radi chrome radiator. So now it's going into primer and uh, then we'll choose a color for it. Now here's a quick progress report. I've got the uh, most of the parts in primer. I've got uh, Rust-Oleum 2X black primer on the wheels. And I've got the uh, gray primer on the body and the seats. I've got, as I mentioned before, I've got the two uh, larger tires glued together to put on the rear and then the smaller ones for the front. I've got uh, the chrome parts mostly on the chrome parts on the engine and the engine's painted up. I just have to put the headers on and the uh, fan belts, pulleys. Uh, just got silver craft paint on the transmission and uh, some Model Master uh, Ford Blue on the engine uh, block and black wash over that. So uh, it's slowly coming together. I just have to decide now on a body color that will uh, suit, uh, be suitable with the decals. I decided to go with the Craftsmart uh, metallic emerald green for the body color and I just used some Craftsmart golden brown for the seats. I'm thinking so far just leaving the interior um, the gray primer. I'm just going to brush on some flat black on the under, under the, underneath the chassis there. and. Uh, see how that looks with the uh, decals and start getting things all put together. Okay, well I'm back again with a quick progress report. I've got uh, a lot of progress here, a little bit of, taking a bit of time of course. I've got the seats and the steering wheel and the uh, gear shifter in on the interior tub. A little bit of chrome, uh, Molotov chrome on the dash there on the instrument panel. I've got the engine in, it slides in from underneath, glues into th those three spots there and then the uh, axle goes through the transmission. I've got the wheels on. That was a bit of a challenge. And these chrome part, suspension parts, I've just super glued those on because they glue onto uh, the painted body. And the front, uh, got the front wheels on, of course. This is all super glued uh, together here in the chrome parts. And I've had to take my utility knife and just scratch out the, in op widen the, the openings on the wheels a little bit and glued them on with uh, modeling glue. Now I found out after looking at the instructions here that these exhaust pipes I want to use on the outside, they don't go on the engine block, they go on the um, the car body actually. So they'll have to be super glued on like that and then I guess it'll rest on the uh, suspension parts there. And there's just the windshield to put on and the tonneau cover. I've got that in black primer at the moment. So I am just uh, cra brushed some black craft paint on the chassis underneath. So it's... Uh, looking pretty good I think and I'm just going to get these uh, orange and yellow decals on here 
that will be going on next and hopefully that will go well. A bit of a sink mark there on the back but uh, I'm not, it's going to look okay I think. I'm not going to put too much effort into trying to make it perfect. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see how the decals go on. Okay well I'm back with the final product here, the Lucky Bucket. The decals went on fine. Everything looks good. I really like this green paint on it, the metallic emerald paint. Grey interior, tan seats. Just a black uh, chassis underneath. And uh, lots of chrome on there. And uh, it went on where everything seemed to go together quite well. I did the tonneau cover in just some fawn uh, craft paint. Airbrushed that on. And that, that'll just set it up here on top. If you want to have that on there. Oops, can't see what I'm doing here. So that's it, and uh, of course, uh, previously I'd done the the uh, Super Roadster, so we've got them both now. They'll go into the display case. It actually comes with a cardboard uh, backing background. I'm going to have to I'll do that separately in a separate video. And that over here, there's the cardboard uh, display base for it. But and then it'll go on the shelf in. Uh, one of my, actually this is a brownies container. I don't know if it'll go this way. I don't, I'm not quite sure if it'll fit that way or not. It'll go like that. Or maybe it'll go the other way. Oops. It can go either way, I guess, like that. It's a little tight. So I'll try it like this. Get that in there. Get that in there. I'll have to straighten up this hood here a bit. In the roof. I'll come back to that off camera. And this little case will that'll go right on, snap right on there. And there it is, ready for the shelf. So thanks for following along, and uh, thanks, fellas, for putting on the uh, small scale group build. That's my contribution for this year. See what's up next, and uh, stay tuned.